Programming went from this to this to this. Okay, uh, let's calm down a little bit. <laughs> but if you're a programmer, you're inevitably going to spend a lot of time on screens. And that means you're going to spend a lot of time reading text. So why not make that text the prettiest it can be? That's where fonts come into play. There are many different types of font and I'm gonna go nerd out about them on my bed. Hello. Sorry, I wanted to get cozy for this one. So let's talk about fonts. So there are many types of fonts and font faces, what we call them, uh, that describe different families of design. So historically, we're accustomed to serif fonts, and those are the fonts that have little serifs on them at the end of the strokes. And so in the digital world, we kind of decided we didn't like serif fonts too much. So we made sans serif fonts, sans being the French word for without. And these are the fonts without the sans at the end of the strokes the very minimalist fonts, as you'd say. And although they're much more aesthetically pleasing on screens, as remember, we're used to low DPI devices. They're still not quite as good for programming. Want me to prove it to you? Look at this. Well, what the hell? And then comes the monospace font, originating from typewriters, which we all know are the modern day computer. I have no idea what I meant by that. <laughs> they gave every character a fixed width, making all the letters align neatly in columns. So for like newspapers, for example. These are much better for reading long text of code. But as always, each font family has its specific purpose. You want an elegant or fancy looking design, then you'd probably want a serif font. You want a awesome tech startup design, sans serif fonts. And if you're really focused on coding, then you might do a monospace. But again, we're not really looking at logos for this video, so let's get back to the fonts. Now that we have a brief history of the fonts, let's look at some criteria on how we're actually going to rate them. So for this ranking, we're obviously going to focus on monospace fonts. And if you're someone that doesn't use monospace fonts for coding, then please stop. So first of all, we're going to look at the readability of fonts, which means how easy it is to read the characters, especially at smaller sizes, when you just have so much code. And then next we'll look at distinctiveness. There's many times I've looked at a specific font and I ask myself, is this a zero? Is this an O? Is this an L? Is this a one? Third is the aesthetics themselves. So does the font even look good? This is probably the most subjective as most people have a different interpretation on what's aesthetic to them. Personally, I like minimalist fonts, kind of with short and fat characters, just because for me, they're more legible. And then finally, we'll be looking at the support for programming ligatures. So ligatures is when two characters are combined into one. I know some people don't like ligatures just because they find them hard to read. Uh, but for me personally, I think they're cool. And also they help me distinguish what a certain thing does. I think for me, the best use case is the greater than or equal to and less than or equal to sign, just because that's how I would write them by hand. And so having a visual representation on the screen for me is just super helpful. But now that we've got all that out of the way, let's go into the ranking. So for number five font, we have Menlo. For some of you, this may look very familiar because it indeed is the default font for VS Code on Mac OS. Sorry, Windows. And this font just gets the job done. And for many, that's perfect. But honestly, that's about it for this font. To me, it doesn't really excite me much. Sure, it's perfect at what it does, but I mean, look at this. This is really make you excited to start coding and imagine debugging this. However, it does do an incredible job at distinguishing characters. I mean, I'd never get confused by these four, for example. And in the aesthetics, yes, it's quite boring, but there's definitely worse out there. And I think it deserves a number five spot simply because of its accessibility. No one will look at your screen and be like, oh, what font are you using? Just because it's the default for many developers. However, it has one glaring issues with my ranking. It doesn't support font ligatures. Like, what do you mean my arrows can't look like this? But if you're not a fan of font ligatures, then I think Menlo is the perfect font for you. And you don't even have to install it on your system. Just install VS Code and boom, it's right there. So while it is a really good font, I think there's still better ones out there. At our number four spot, we have JetBrains Mono. This font is very accessible if you used any of the JetBrains software. It's a clean font. I think it's much more spicier than Menlo. It has really, really good legibility, and that's one of its design philosophies. Even though I think that the text is personally a bit too long or tall, I don't know. It looks like this. It kind of feels like the words are being squished together, which I think is the whole point of the font though. It is seriously really good when there is a lot of text on the screen though, as every line is clearly legible. But also this is a thick font, <laughs> which kind of makes it difficult to distinguish between regular text and bolded text, which your IDE would sometimes do for you. For me, it doesn't really matter too much, but I think it's still worth mentioning as some people may have a problem with that. The characters are extremely recognizable and I think it's almost impossible to not tell them apart. Now, very nitpicky here, 
I'm not really the biggest fan of the zero with the dot in the middle. I'm more of a strike through zero, but I think that's because I grew up with Minecraft. And another thing is I kind of often find myself getting bored with this font. It's the standard in every JetBrains software. So it comes up a bunch of times. So if you're looking for something different that's not normally found in the wild, then I don't recommend this font for you. But honestly, overall, it is a great choice. Maybe not the most original, but definitely amazing if all you want to do is get to work and have ligature support. At number three, we have Hasklig. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced, but I'm just going to roll with it. So if we had the ranking for the cutest font, Hasklig, Hasklig? Hasklig would win 100%. This is such a derpy, cutesy font. It kind of feels like you got a regular font and just squished it down a bunch. And the ligatures, I think, are incredible. They're super smooth and expressive, and I think they just get the job done. But readability-wise, I think for some people, it's just simply too thin, especially on high DPI screens, um, and especially if you have a lot of small text. And if you're not zoomed in enough, I oftentimes find myself squinting at it to try and read it. It definitely has its own personality though. I mean, you'll never distinguish it from a system font. So if that's what you're looking for, then by all means. But again, form over function only gets you so far. Cute and quirky, yes. Practical for long coding sessions, debatable and maybe not for everyone still if you're into the aesthetics and just like handwritten ish fonts then definitely give this font a try also link to all the fonts will be in the description below this video and while you're there make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing at our number two font we have source code pro now this one is just a solid all-rounder it's almost like the professional older sibling to hasklig it's not too thin but not too thick either so it's definitely a great in-between the character spacing feels natural the letters breathe well on the screen and overall it just feels clean but here's a major downside and that's no font ligatures I mean, for a font that does so much right, it's actually such a shame that it stops short of ligatures. But still, I know plenty of people who love Source Code Pro and use it as their daily driver. And honestly, I totally get it. I mean, it's a font that stays out of your way and just helps you focus on your code. Plus, it looks great. It's stylish, legible, distinct, but still professional. But before we go to our number one spot, let's hear a quick message from our sponsor. So far, we've looked at a lot of pretty fonts, but looking at code is one thing. How are you actually going to learn how to code? Thankfully, you can use today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. Brilliant's lessons are filled with real, hands-on problem solving, which lets you play with concepts. It allows you to build critical thinking skills, which is essential for a programmer. With Brilliant, you can develop a powerful learning habit and can even learn on the go right with their mobile app. You can actually start using all these pretty fonts while getting familiar with Python with Brilliant's Applied Python course, where you'll start building programs on day one. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30-day free trial, visit brilliant.org slash geodev or scan the QR code on screen or click the first link in the description down below. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you so much, Brilliant for supporting our channel now on to our number one font you knew this was coming it is fire code this one is just a 10 out of 10 font this is one of those rare fonts that just gets everything right let's break it down amazing ligatures like every single combination you can think of is absolutely amazing it's highly readable even on smaller screens and if there's a ton of code altogether the spacing is awesome the weight is perfect very well balanced and the characters are crystal clear and the distinctiveness is absolutely nailed there is no way you can mix up your zeros or your o's your capital i's your lowercase l's your ones and l's ever it's modern sleek and with just enough personality to make it stand out without looking unprofessional and i think it's so widely used that if you use it you're never gonna stand out you're in good company and if you haven't tried fire code before i think this is your sign and the font download includes a bunch of symbols as it's a nerd font so it's all around an amazing font okay this was my ranking for fonts i hope you enjoyed the video if you learned something new let me know by leaving a like as this is very subjective comment down below your favorite font and i definitely want to check that out again all the font links are in the description down below. And if you enjoy this type of content, then consider subscribing. Keep developing, keep learning. I'm out. Bye-bye.